Hey guys, right, welcome back to part two of my haul video. If you missed part one, I'll put a link in the description box. Okay, so my last sort of um, nail related um, purchase in Florida were these packs of glitters. And these are from a shop called Michael's, which is like a craft shop. And some of these reduced, some weren't, but they're great little packs. And these are extra fine glitters in here. And then you've got some little hex glitters as well. So I'm going to be giving some of these away in my giveaway that's coming up. So these I thought would be really nice for autumn. So we've got some lovely holographic coppers, gold, silver, holographic silver there. Really nice. These are just all very, very tiny hex glitters. You can see some are holographic as well. And they always come in really useful. And then these are sort of like a neon. This one really looks like the Lacente pink champagne. And then this is like the sort of tangerine one. Really nice and bright. So looking forward to using those. Okay, so the next few things I've got to show you are things that I ordered while uh, before I went away and while I was away. So they were here when I got back, which was great. And the first thing was um, I've done a review on the clear gel by megamixnails.com and I'll put a link to that in the description box but they're also brought out these two as a set you can get them singly but they're a bit cheaper if you buy them together and it's the chrome mix and the bling mix so mix anything with this as you would like with the clear gel and it turns it like a metallic sort of feel to it and then this one is really really glittery I haven't even opened these yet so I'm going to do like a review video on these to see how good they are so if you're interested once I've uploaded this I'll put a link in once I've done that video as well so looking forward to trying that out the next thing that I purchased was this foil design gel and it's basically a black gel and it's for doing embossing, so this sort of design where you put the transfer foil on and it's like a 3D effect. I have done this with shellac, but um, I found the gelish black isn't great for doing it, so I wanted an alternative, and this is a great alternative for um, using over gel polish. And it's by Nail Perfect, and I'm sorry if I've pronounced this wrong, but Dorota... Palika, she is a brilliant like one stroke artist she just just great if you're on salon geek because she does a lot of posts on there in the one stroke section and she's brilliant at, um her nails are just gorgeous so i knew i was um purchasing off of um somebody <laughs> really really good so i'll do a review on this one as well to show you how well that comes out so really, really looking forward to uh, doing a video on that one. Okay, next thing, I did a Moyu haul and I've got 10 plates here. So I'll really, really quickly run through the ones that I got. Fashionista 07, which is a new one that's come out. And that's like a load of damask sort of designs, which are just gorgeous. I can't wait to use that one. And then Suki Collection 06 which I love, this face here, bamboo. Even this could be used for like mermaid scales. Really, really nice, that one. Suki 07, and I just love this because I love this girl, I'm doing like the geisha girl. Just absolutely love it. And the dragon here, really pretty. Uh, Explorer 10. So I've seen this manicure so many times and I've just been dying to try it out so I bought this plate especially for that that image there which I'm going to do across the nails which just looks really cool so that's Explorer 10 Rebel 02 and I wanted this one specifically for these Banksy style images here and where's the other one that I like uh, there that one there brilliant so can't wait to use that one. Pro Collection 05. 
and I wanted this one spe specifically for this butterfly image and these pe the peacock feathers because I think they look really nice and even this one would be good for Halloween actually like a spider's web uh, Princess 13 and I love this one because I love the swirls I love this splodgy design over here and these sort of like sunflowers really cool Princess 11 and I love the script and these hearts on here really cool and even these down here would look really cool coming up from the nail uh, the free edge uh, Fairy Tale 06 and I bought this just because I absolutely loved the like the mermaid um, picture on here really really lovely just can't wait to do something with that and then the last one Sailor 09 because I love nautical things so I love this anchor here those little seahorses and the bubbles. So yeah, can't wait to use them. Okay, so the last thing I think I've got to show you are these polishes by Mundo de Uñas. And they're in Mexico. I have done a review on them before, like a manicure video. Uh, I think it was a graduated stamping one that I did. And I'll put a link to that. Unfortunately, Sylvia isn't um, shipping internationally anymore. So I was lucky that I got this order in just before she actually announced that. But they've only just come, so they took about a month to get here. But I'll quickly go through the ones that I've got. So I've got a bronze, and that's 19, if you need to know. This is Mexican pink, 15. Yellow, 11. This is turquoise, five. Pastel pink, 25. Just blue, that's number four. Uh, metallic violet, 45. Spring green, 56. Peach, 31. And green, eight. Now, if you notice, some of these have started to separate. So I've had five from her before. And what I bought were these agitated beads. And one of these fits in these little mini bottles perfectly. And that just means I can shake them up. So if they do separate, they're just easily shaken up. Um, and I'm going to do a swatch review on these to see how well they stamp. Because they do stay, say they stamp over black. So I will be doing that this week, hopefully, and doing a swatch review on those. Okay, so that's it for my haul video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed them. Um, as I say, I'll try and put all the links to everything that I've sort of shown in the description box. And as, as always, if you've got any requests, then just um, comment on my Instagram pictures or I'm on Twitter as well, and I'll put all the links to that. So... I shall see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.